This is Sarsa Midland Railways um, players interview. Starting off with Ashley Price. Hi. Mr. AJP. At the luxurious footballer's house with a lot with the hot tub. Uh, I'm going to ask you a few questions today, Ash. That's cool. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself to the fans? I'm AJP. I'm Sarsa Midland Railways number one, the only one. Um, I'm going to be donning the sticks yet again. I used to be. I used to be. Um, we're going for the title. We um, we know it's going to be a tough ask. For all of us, it's going to be a tough ask. But we need to get Ryan Watley out of bed. That's that's the main thing. So um, why did you decide to get back out there in the sticks, opposed to your centre midfield role as usual? Well, um, it's been it's been pushing push the shove really. Um, for years upon years, everyone's been asking me, "Are you ever going to do it? Are you ever going to do it?" I'm there. I'm there. I just want to. I just want to be there for the lads. Just, just, just be behind the lads. So it's for the fans. It's for the fans. Yeah, it's for every single one of my fans. Brilliant. Um, you know, to many is the Prisley Bear. Is this because you're cute and cuddly? The girl sees I am cute and cuddly, but on the pitch, I'm a different kind of player. I'm a, I'm a different kind of animal, so to speak. The the Prisley Bear. So it's an obviously a pun on the word grizzly bear. Well, that's it. Yeah. It's from the um, nice. from the father side scene, the um, AFC Bearbackers. 24 and beaten, conceded six. Will anyone ever beat us? Well, I think that's a lie. You must have conceded more than six goals in 24 games. No, it's six goals. In 24 games? In 24. <laughs> I think we'll check that up. Um, your life always seems to be around the tabloids. On the front and back pages, what do you think this is? To be honest, I don't... I, it's jealousy. I'll just put it down to Janice. I mean, who would not want to be me? I've heard rumours about vandalism to your uh, to your private property. Can you expand on this? For security reasons, I don't, I'd not like to comment. No comment. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, in the new squad for Sarston Midland Railway 2011, is there anyone you've not played with before that you're looking forward to giving like, on the same team with this year? Oh, there's a few players out there. Well, okay, you've got your Vernon Harpers. Um, I've not played a full season with Ron Watley yet because we always end up arguing on the pitch, giving four little runs. But um, I think the main player that I'm liking, I'm looking forward to playing with is Jake Duffer. Um, you've had trouble plus with Jake Duffer, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, we had a bit of a run in in life one time. Uh, I think it was over a, a girl and stuff, and then he, he decided to bite my face like. Cannibalism. Cannibalism, is it? Oh, but it's not. You found some neutral ground now, and you sure you'll be able to get on throughout yeah, the season. Get on. I mean, um, a beloved two armour. Got support. I bleed black and blue, black and white. <laughs> even. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Liam me seems to take exception about what you wrote on the website yesterday. Um, what do you think it was that annoyed him? Um, I think it was the fact that I laid into his love child. Connor Putwood, I mean, I've been saying that he's been on steroids, we all know he's been on steroids, he takes all these, these growth supplements, yeah, testosterone boosters, but it all comes down to the roids, I think, yeah. The so are you making the accusation that Liam East is in fact Connor Putwood's dad? Yeah, yeah I, think, I think he is, you can tell by his eyes. Well, it's definitely an interesting um, thought. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, uh, I've, I've looked at Sam Wilson, I think he's, he's a prime example about on the steroids, well, he's gone from like and there's six stones soaking wet to Chris Benoit eating seven chickens a day. Yeah, to be fair to him though, he's gone from strength to strength for the bear department a bit, so oh, yeah, you can't so really hate on the bloke. He's gone from strength to strength, yes. Um, as a PT, for personal trainer for Sarsen Midland Railway, um, do you think they're in the best condition, these Royd boys, or is there anyone else you'd particularly like look off? I don't think there is, no. 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 So the Roys do the job? The Roys do the job, of course, yeah. But it's an interesting you... outlook for a personal trainer to have. Well, it is, yeah. It depends what kind of physique you like. Want. If you want the ripped, muscly physique, or you want to get like the bloomers, like the Packwoods and the Wilsons. Yeah. That's it. I mean, is there anyone that you've seen in pre-season that needs to put a bit more in at the gym? Anyone yeah. look a bit out of shape? Probably Ryan Watler. He looks... Um, a bit chubby. Terrible, isn't he? Yeah, um, it looks like he's had too many beers and all inclusive and stuff. But comfortable as well. Comfortable. comfortable. I think he's getting very comfortable with his bird. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. love handles. Yeah. 
Yeah. And um, one one complaint that Ron has with you is that you you're on your phone a lot, Ash. And um, there's rumours going around that Sony Ericsson are sponsoring you a hands-free kit, so you don't have to be off it during games. Is there any truth in this? Or yeah, there's, there's a lot of truth behind it. I mean, uh, it's not Sony Ericsson. I've been offered by iPhone themselves. I mean, they're going to put a sponsor on my shirt because I've had to buy my own shirt because the club don't want to. Uh, Buy uh, extra small, so it makes me look a lot bigger. Well, that, that's due to it not being compatible for other goalkeepers when you stay in Badash. I know, but I'm a changed man. I've gone from a, a shit bloke to a top bloke. That's good. That's good. And um, you stated it at the start of the thing. But what, what are your season expectations? I think we're going to win it. I think um, there's been a lot of uh, accusations about us all not getting out of bed, but everyone seems to be settled down this season. We're good. We're uh, going to push for the title. We're going to push, push for the cups. That's why I'd like to win a cup. But I think if we get the team together week in week out, we can beat anyone of the day. That's brilliant. Nice to invite us into your humble abode. It's a lovely area. Punt it. Unfortunately, you still can't get out your own half of your old kicks, Ash. But um, all the best for the season, player.